So don't mind that because I still felt like I was probably should have got forward to it, but I still felt like I was actually trying to hit it. I wasn't just in no hands there, but yeah. But why do you say you should have got forward? Because I felt like that's essentially I probably could have got more for it. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? G'day legends, thanks for tuning into this video. This is part two of a three part series of a session I did with Australian cricketer Darcy Short. Um, if you haven't seen part one, go out and check that. That was the first part of the session. We, we had a hit for about an hour. First part was him hitting some balls. This part is us chatting a fair bit. He's obviously hitting some balls as well, but I'm asking him questions, trying to understand what he's working on, what he's focusing on, and just learn more about him as a person and as a player so that I can then help him but also I can take what he's doing and implement it with my other players because he's obviously at the top sort of level of cricket. So I want to learn from him and pass it on, but also learn so I can help him. So let's get into the video. Please like, comment, share. Please share it with your mates. Um, leave a comment. I love reading the comments. Let us know what you think. What did you enjoy, um, etc. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so. Please subscribe. Um, and let's get in the video. I hope you enjoy it. Shot. Oh, shall we? How are you feeling? Huh? Yeah, good. Yeah, look, looks like you're playing nicely. Lovely. Um, I guess the other thing is just like <coughs> limiting the, the nothing shot as well. Yeah. It's like obviously, I do get in a trap of like just blocking balls to gully. I should be trying to. So like if there's nobody out for it or out cover, actually using my hands to get it there, it's too it's not Yeah. Not having to force it. Yeah. Yeah. Like there's some shots there where I probably could I know I'm not gonna do anything with them, so I'll literally get to a spot and just go, Oh well, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It's okay if I'm looking to go forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back hitting it back towards the bowler. Like, if it's outside off or like back of length and I just double it, it only has to move a bit for me to yeah. Nick it. I guess stuff it up in terms of so if you're not trying to score, is there any point in even playing it? Or are you just, your instinct is to always hit the ball, so you just... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It becomes natural. Yeah. I feel like it's... Yeah, it's just natural to do it. Yeah. It feels, I guess, easier as well. Yeah. Like knowing that I'm hitting the ball. Yeah. But, yeah, if I get to the point where I'm doing, having a nothing shot, leaving my bat there, then it's probably the point where I should be. Yeah. Leaving it as such. Yeah. I'm just thinking if you're like playing Boomer or someone and he's bowling fifth stump yeah. and you're sort of like outside your body and you're not scoring, you, it's just so much safer to yeah. do that making bowl at you. But yeah. like your instinct is to hit the ball. So you don't want to then get in a mentality of leaving the ball. Yeah. I suppose it's just... The Boomer, I reckon, I might risk the one that comes back in and go across to off stump. Give myself a bit more yeah. leniency in terms of where he bowls it at me yep. to get away with the ball, so yep. risking the one that comes back in, although it's hard to pick up, like it's, I'll back myself to hit that one more than yep. like out there. Outside, yep. outside my island. Yep. I reckon the hard thing about practicing on this stuff, and obviously you get access to turf in the season, but most of us have to practice on this, is you can just get in a real robotic habit of just pushing at the ball. And obviously you're smacking them today, but a couple of times you've just your defence and it's your first hit back. So, but I reckon the be very best Red Bull players are so late in their defence, yeah. forward and back, and they just let the ball really come to them. And then they, if it nips, that they're so late it nips past their outside edge rather than yeah. pushing their hands. And the nicks always carry then. And sometimes if they do nick it, it doesn't even carry. Um, so maybe that's something for your Red Bull game rather than thinking about surviving and thinking about like trying to hang in you're still thinking about boundaries yeah. but if you do defend you're defending as late as you possibly can yeah. Yeah. Don't know. i've got better at it but i wouldn't say i'm great at it because i still like hitting the ball so yeah yeah have you i will push it in terms yeah. of getting towards the ball yeah and that's because your instincts to hit it have you ever done any work with tennis balls like have you done anything lately not lately no something that buck preaches a lot yeah. and he was obviously a good player of swing bowling good player in difficult conditions was like playing with tennis balls because it makes you like because they bounce and they're yeah. slow it makes you sort of slow your swing down a bit yeah. but again you wouldn't want it to sort of then impact your, your your natural swing i suppose 
something to think about, something yeah. to potentially try. Essentially, it just comes out to figure before you're going harder. Yeah. Obviously, you're not going to go harder. Yeah. So you've got to feel the time yeah. kind of back a little, little yeah. bit as well. So. Yeah. Sweet. Shot. Did you see that photo NT Cricket posted on Instagram last week? Yeah. Oh yeah, and bloody Kane's hair, I don't know if it was that photo, but back then he used to have shocking hair. I reckon that was a year after he had that real long hair. Yeah, yeah. Shot. Yeah, yeah. And a shocking necklace to go with it, I think. Yeah, I think so. I had a, like a white shell one. With my blonde hair. So I don't mind that because I still felt like I was, I probably should have got forward to it, but I still felt like I was actually trying to hit it. I wasn't just sitting over there, but. Yeah. But why do you say you should have got forward? So I feel like that's essentially I probably could have got more for it. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because you were driving that length right. earlier. Yeah. yeah. However, I reckon Sm Smithy's like changed the game that you don't have to go forward to full balls. No. And like Brian Lara as well. Like if you're set and you just trust your hands, you can hit off the back foot. Yeah. But yeah, I agree that you could have you could have driven that ball for four. Yeah. Shot boy. That's one of the best off the back foot, Oregon. <laughs> yeah. Well, that just looked. Yeah. That just looked a little bit more compact and more with your top side. Like, that was awesome. What do you focus on as I'm releasing the ball? I try to the ball as much as I can. So like I don't follow you when you're going around. I'll watch the ball's face when they're running in. And then to a point where they go to jump, I'll kind of like focus my eyes up to where I think they're going to release it from. And try and watch the ball as hard as I can. Yeah. I feel like if you're, if you're trying to follow it, that's when you can lose it because like some people, everyone's actions different. They don't follow the same path. So I feel like as, as much as I can, I just watch from like an area where I think their hands are going from. Yeah. And do you go through like an internal process, like as you tap, do you think head, shoulder, hands or anything? Or you just, does it all just naturally? Just looking as much as I can to have like, I've probably got a little bit of a forward lean. Yeah. Try not to lean too far forward, but having a bit of a lean and maybe keeping the shoulder tucked in a little bit. But then like, as they go, I guess my trigger to look up is when they're really jumping into their thing and I've like had my pre-movement, so then I'll look up into like, Trying to find the ball. That they're gonna, gonna let the ball go. Yeah, yeah. So, and, they, and do you say anything? Do you have any trigger words or anything? Or as just, you're running in, I just tell myself to watch, watch the, the ball. Watch yeah. the ball, yeah. Probably once or twice, depends on yeah. how long they run up is. Yeah, so, yeah, cool. 
It's interesting. Something that something that Buck and I have been talking a bit about is cues, like internal versus external cues. And they, the research yeah. says the best players yeah. think about just where they're going to hit the ball and like something far external, yeah. rather than like close internal, like head, shoulder. And that's when we've got so much going on that we don't actually react to the ball and it, our decisions are slower. And I had, had a few conversations with Smithy recently on Instagram and he was like, I did some stuff with Flip and Flip was talking about where he wanted to hit the ball and Smithy's like, surely the answer to this is just wherever the fielder isn't. Yeah. And he's like thinking far external. Yeah. I, don't and ever, I, I don't ever think about when they're running in or where I'm going to hit the ball. I'll look at their field and go, this is, well, I think this is where they're going to bowl it. Mm have like an idea of something maybe yeah like, i try and rely on instinct as much as possible yeah yeah just trust Especially yourself picking up length, like, yeah yeah if i'm looking to hit them if i'm looking to attack them i'll look straight as possible and then go with the length of that ball yeah um but yeah i'm just thinking about watching the ball yeah, really, yeah yeah i'm not really trying to unless it comes to say a t20 and there's two overs left you're premeditating I'm, a bit yeah on 90 or 100 like yeah. premeditating where i want to hit it because yeah I feel like I've got them where I was and knowing where they're going to bowl. Yeah, 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 yeah. You give, you've, you've earned that right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, essentially, after that, it's trying to trying to just pick where I'm like stay in the moment of watching where the ball comes from and, and just reacting. And back myself yeah, to hit. yeah. I guess cool. The only time we're really meditating is if a spin is bowling. I'm more likely premeditating if I'm going to reverse it. Yeah. Essentially. Yeah. And backing myself to hit it. Yeah. More and getting more confident to do it, but like just premeditating. Yeah. Um, where they're gonna bowl it, and obviously trying to trying to execute that shot as much as possible. Yeah. Because I feel like that's the only shot that doesn't. Come you can't react. Well, you can't react to a reverse. No. Because you have to change. So like you can't just go halfway down. Oh, it's outside off. I'm gonna. Yeah. I reckon. Well, I don't know. I don't think you can. But. I, no. Your hands are. I don't reckon. Well. Flipper's hands might be quick enough to do it, but I don't reckon I could. I could just react to that no nah. yeah i don't think so as much as like. yeah i reckon that's a pre-med shot but yeah cool cool thanks shot. shot